Well, good Friday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. Uh, I do uh, I think as we look into the Word of God, the Scripture says in the book of Ephesians in chapter 2, in verse 1, And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in time past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh, and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he hath loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved, and hath raised us up together, and made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. I say often, but coming back to the Lord over 30 years ago, coming back to the church, coming back to all of that was a process. Um, not being raised in church and then conversion of my father and that change in his life and then from there being raised in church until I was old enough that I didn't have to go any longer, I suppose. And then Teresa and I were married and it wasn't long after that that we... Um, went to church and went to the altar and prayed and through struggles and problems and trials I stepped away she followed anywhere I went and after the death of my father I came back I found myself once saying if I'd give anything just to feel what I had before, the peace I had. And I remember being on my hands and knees in our front yard there, my parents' home, and there's a big sycamore tree there still on that property. But I remember saying, God, if you're real, I need help. <laughs> and I'll never forget that because he was real. He is real. And guess what he did? He did help me. <laughs> And not only saved me, forgave me, but he helped me. This song says standing somewhere in the shadows, and that's where I pictured that he was standing there waiting. He was just waiting for me. And you know what he's probably doing today? Probably waiting for you to ask for help as well. Are there crosses too heavy to carry? And burdens too heavy to bear. Are there heartaches and tears and anguish? And no one who seems to care. Standing somewhere shadows you find Jesus he's a friend who always cares and understands standing somewhere in the shadows you will find him and you'll know him by the nail prints in his hand. Are there shadows of deep disappointment and trust that have proven?
And God, I thank you that you are there, not far, the Apostle Paul says, from all of us. And God, I thank you that you answer when we call. We love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you folks. See you back here on Saturday. <laughs>